So here's something I wanted to, I've been wanting to show and show off and um, little pouch, basic kind of thing, you know, um, power steel, obviously. Comes out pretty easy when you want it to. Nice little, it's got both a you know, belt or you can just clip it and clip it to a pack or whatever, especially if you need to do it quick. Uh, fire kit, sort of a um, uh, large uh, Altoids tin. It's not really an Altoids, and it's um, I'll have to get the the name. Uh, I think it's Survival Resources. I'm pretty sure is where I got that from. A um, little generic uh, uh, multi-tool type. Mainly have it just for the for the. Pliers. Uh, I've got other multi-tools, but this is the one I carry all the time. Um, box. One thing I always have. Uh, I've got obviously first aid kits, but here's a couple of uh, band-aids and that kind of thing. Why would you do that? Well, because we're working with knives all the time. Uh, I'm sure most of us are. Uh, so if you, you're working with knives all the time. <laughs> Guess what? You're going to cut yourself. I don't care how good you are. You're going to cut yourself. Especially because you're going to decide to play with it a little bit. The next thing you know, oops. Uh, wet tinder. Sorry. Uh, hard to see in the light, but a couple of wet tinders. Another small uh, fire steel, you know, and a striker. Y you never know when you're going to need it. I mean, come on. Um, I got so many of these, and, and I'm sure, again, a lot of guys that are prepping, you're going to have a lot of these. You should. Yeah, you shouldn't, why bother wearing? These are these little, um, can't see in the vial here maybe, but they're uh, um, little dry tinder things, little tinder things that you, you know, it's like cotton and you pull it apart uh, and help. that'll help you strike. Um, always also carry um, hurricane matches. I mean, again, <laughs> the point is not to, I'm, Put a little pack of discin in there. Uh, you know, the point to me is that I'm not, you know, if you got a fire kit, an emergency fire kit, um, what are you going to mess around with? Uh, no, 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 I've got, I can only use natural materials and, uh, you know, okay, you're going to use a, uh, you know, a bow, a, a friction type. <laughs> I don't do that stuff. Sorry. Um, that's to me, there's nothing wrong with that and, and it's probably a skill everybody should have, but in my personal, Thing. I'm, I'm just not going to worry about it. Um, two other little items here. Um, place called, uh, I think it's Baranox or Baranix Knives. Uh, this is a little uh, sort of Japanese little, um, you know, uh, just to have, you know, just to have it fit, fit in the kit. Uh, so I thought, you know what, heck, uh, who doesn't need a second knife? And especially, you know, something like this you could really use for Because, you, you see, you got your little, see the little handle there? So, of course, you hold, well, you hold it. And now you can, you know, you want a feather stick? Sure, a feather stick. Um, you know, if you have to, if you don't want to mess with your, I mean, I've always got other knives. But, hey, in an emergency, couldn't possibly hurt. And last but not least, is a little, um, Pop this bad boy open and come on, come out. Um, it's a little uh, diamond type, uh, it's metal, um, sharpener, um, you know, manual sharpener. You need to sharpen a knife up, you know, there you go. Obviously, I'm not really doing it, and you're not going to. You would need some kind of lubricant, but you can use water if you have to. I mean, it's not going to kill it. Uh, again, Baronix knives. Uh, I'll put, obviously, there'll be links and stuff down inside. But uh, there's my general little kit. Um, one thing I've always, almost always got on me, and you can see I've been using it lately. While I've been here, cutting stuff. Condor bush lure. Uh, you know, what are you going to say? great little knife for the price um, wood handles and again Baronix knives N nice thing I like about Baronix or Baronix or however you say it is um, that they'll the guy will actually um, um, 
sharpen it for you. He'll, he'll, he'll hone the edge that comes on it from the factory. And the nice thing about that is, um, you know, y you do that uh, and you've got, um, uh, you got a good base to start from. You know, when you start using another, uh, you start using it anywhere else, you got a good base uh, for that. So, anyways, guys, quick, easy. Um, and I'll do some more stuff while I'm up here. Thanks. There we go. A little repositioning there. So, anyway, like I said, you know, you have, um, you know, you always have a fire kit. Um, most everybody I know always got a fire kit. That was mine. Quick stuff. Um, something to sharpen a knife with, something to, Put on a cut. Oh, that's it's a really basic little kit. The good thing was, the good thing about it is this pouch, and I forget where I got this. This thing is what was it called? Kind of CLC, and I actually looked it up once. Um, I think I did a did a um, a search, you know, for CLC um, tool pouch. I think is what it's called, and they they make other ones now. This one I can't find this one, and the one thing I really liked about this one was this big, uh, uh, this, the big loop on the side. So you, you know, perfect for a, for a, a, a good size. This is what, a, a half, uh, I think it's a, a six and a half, five by, five inch by si by half inch, I think, um, Baylight. Um, you can get them on Amazon. Um, and I did the, you know, not hard to do the paracord thing. Uh, I did that, um, not hard at all. Uh, oh, and the other thing is, the uh, and on the ends there it would slide through uh, which is one reason why I put this on um, but I at first oh, what do I do what do I do and then but well how about electrical tape because uh, uh, I didn't want to try to cut down uh, gorilla tape or, or any kind of duct tape you know but electrical tape it's black you could it still come in handy uh, if I need it unwrap it if I had to so it goes in the a little loop here and then what I do is to keep this from dangling when I don't need to use it for right over the, the pouch lid and there you go it hangs uh, yeah it could get caught on things it's a point uh, sometimes I'll get it up in there better um, but you know it's not gonna hurt anything uh, you know realistically um, is that a so horrible of a thing that I wouldn't want to use it Nah, uh, and like I said, the whole the contents of the tin, everything fits right in there. There's actually other. If I'm really going out um, uh, camping, or I'm going to be out on the property really heavily, I got a couple of their smaller knives uh, and and a better multi-tool that I'll throw in there as well uh, than what's you know what I carry normally in there. Uh, I got a Leatherman, uh, it's an old Leatherman uh, that I can't remember what the but anyway, it's very old uh and, but that one's usually in my other pack my um uh my 24 hour sort of emergency bug out bag um so you know um but just wanted to kind of give that throw that out here and show it to you guys and thanks a lot really appreciate it something's chirping like crazy out there um and we'll talk to you soon thanks